from Idaho. I'm really glad that people flying flags on their trucks have become so popular. And there's lots of videos on the internet that show you how to make really complicated brackets that you have to bolt onto the truck or drill holes or whatever. Well, it seemed simple enough to uh, put it in a stake pocket. And so this video is how to make a little holder that will hold your flag and put it in a stake pocket. You can see the holder here. It is a piece of maple that's six inches long and it's split down the center so you can put the flagpole in and then clamp it. Here's the flag and the flagpole. The flagpole is actually three quarter inch black pipe available at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's about four feet long. It's got a rubber thread protector on one end which uh, helps protect the bottom of the stake pocket. And then it has eyelets and carabiners spaced appropriately for the flag. Okay, here's my two blocks. A friend of mine is a woodworker, and he uh, dug through his pile and found me a couple of beautiful pieces of uh, maple. Maple's a good hardwood. It will uh, stand up to the rigors of holding a flag. You can see I've marked where the hole goes on the top and on the bottom, and then drew a straight line in between so the flag will be tilted back, obviously. And this allows me to put it in my vise on my drill press. This is when it's really nice to have a, uh, a floor-mounted drill press is because you can get it low enough to use this long bit. And so the uh, plan here is to drill all the way through with half-inch and then... Uh, work my way up to one in the 16th this is a silver and deming uh one in the 16th and the uh flag pole itself is three quarter inch black pipe which measures uh one inch fifty thousandths nominal so that will be a good fit trick is to uh, drill slow enough that the bit doesn't wander. It's a deep, it's a deep hole, that's a seven inch block. The finish dimension will be about six. For this particular stake pocket in this particular pickup, it measures two and an eighth by one and five eighths. Okay, we're going to do three quarter inch now. Seven eighths inch.
Okay, we got a nice hole all the way through. Okay, the blocks are cut to two and an eighth. But now it needs to be one and five eighths in this dimension. And I'm gonna leave it a little strong and then check it in the side pocket. So now we're going to split it in half. Okay, now we have a left and a right. Okay, time to uh, make these two holes match. Not sure that's the right tool. Okay, we're going to cut them to length, six and a quarter inches. Okay, we're going to uh, put another coat of paint on the screws that hold this together, and another coat of truck bed liner on the maple. Two coats ought to be good. Okay, last steps. We're about ready to put these on the flag and uh, install it on the truck. Okay, we've got it. This is the front. This is the back. And we've lined up the eyelets and the carabiners. So that the flag will be tilted slightly back when it's in the stake pocket. I've got my screws painted black. For my uh, my neighbor's truck, he's a uh, firefighter. Was a cop. Um, he's got like 29 years of service. Should retire next year, and uh, he flies the flags on his truck that uh, at one time flew over his fire station and uh, so I thought who better to make a holder for as usual if you like or dislike my video please select the appropriate button and let me know why I really appreciate comments and I will answer every one. If you're new to my videos, please select the subscribe and the notification bell.
to get more videos like this.